In this video, I'll be sharing with you reasons on why you should consider the StoryPod if you want a fun, screen-free audio system that grows with your child. Oh, and make sure to stay to the end as I explain how you can save $30 off the StoryPod. Yep, about 38% savings. Before I begin, I want to disclose that StoryPod did send me most of the items in this video for free, but no money was exchanged, nor did StoryPod get to see this video before I posted it. Best way to describe a StoryPod? Well, in short, you can think of the StoryPod as souped up CD players that's been updated for the modern world, and you can think of these crafties as CDs. But of course, this analogy really doesn't do the StoryPod justice. The recommended age range of the StoryPod is 0 to 6 and up. This is quite the tall order, as the 0 to 6 age range might not seem large, but the amount of mental growth a child goes through this time frame is huge. This means that the StoryPod needs to be simple enough for a young toddler to use, but also at the same time complex enough to keep a 6 year old from getting bored. I believe that the StoryPod has actually accomplished this. The overall use is pretty simple. When you put a crafty on top, the StoryPod will start to play music or stories. Of course, this is if the device is on. To turn on the device, simply press the play button and it'll power on. This button is probably the most confusing button as it not only turns on the device, but it also serves as the play and pause button when it's on. To turn off the device, hold the play button for a couple seconds and the StoryPod will power off. The other buttons are much more simple with only a single function. They have a dedicated button for the previous track, next track, volume down, and volume up. There are also four additional interactive buttons on the back side that I'll talk about a little bit more later. If your child wants to use headphones, there is a standard headphone jack located on the bottom back area. You don't need to worry about your child turning the volume too high, as they do have a volume limit you can turn on in the app to prevent your child from increasing the volume too high. Next to the headphone port is the micro USB port. This charging port is probably my biggest complaint as micro USB generally don't last quite as long. However, you're probably not charging this daily so the wear and tear on the port should be minimal. I just wish that they used USB-C. But who knows, maybe a version with USB-C will come out one day. As with anything battery powered, battery life is very important. The StoryPod is rated 10 plus hours and as far as I can tell, it holds true. My children have used the StoryPod for several days before a charge is required. Since this is aimed for young children, it needs to be durable. The StoryPod has a nice soft padding around it that helps protect it from drops. This soft area is made of fabric, so dirty hands might get this grimy over time, but they thought about this and included a removable sleeve that is washable. Speaking of durability, they also have a lanyard to help minimize any drops. Now let's talk about the interaction between the StoryPod and the Crafties. What I really like about the StoryPod is that the Crafties isn't required to stay on top for the music to continue playing. This is huge as with plush figures this cute, our children are going to want to play with it instead of just letting it sit on top of the player. This also helps with less frustration should the Crafty get knocked off or if sibling grabs it while another is listening. This way there is no music interruption. Another nice feature is that the StoryPod remembers the last played song or story. This means that if my child changes from one crafty to another, the StoryPod will continue playing from the spot it was left off. This holds true regardless of how many crafties are placed on top of it. Once again, a very important feature should your child or sibling change the crafty mid-listening. Little things like this are what keeps those meltdowns to a minimum. There are crafties for all age range with different type of contents from music to stories. There's no set runtime on these, but on average, they consist of 50 minutes of content. Each of these crafties go for $19.99, which isn't too outrageous as a CD generally goes for about $15. Although I'm not sure how many people still purchase CDs. The exception to this price is the Owl Eye Crafty, which allows you to record your own stories onto it. It can record up to 100 minutes via the app. Note that every StoryPod already comes with one of these. The unique thing about this, besides being able to record yourself reading a story, talking, or singing, is that you can have grandparents who don't even live in the same household record messages for your child. Using the StoryPod app, you can remotely invite members to record onto the owl. This is also great if you're out of town and want to leave a message for your child. As we're on the subject of the app, you need to set up the StoryPod using the app before you're able to use it for the first time. It's fairly straightforward. All you do is download it and follow the instructions on your phone. It's nothing very complicated. So keep that in mind if it's a gift. It's best to set up 
in a place with Wi-Fi access as you can download all the content to the story pod so you can use it offline just in case you're not opening this at home or something. Downloading the content is fairly easy after setup. Turn on the story pod and wait a couple seconds for the light to go from a blinking white light to a steady white. Once it's steady white, it means you're connected to the internet and you're ready to download. Place the crafty on top of the story pod and you'll see a blue light that starts blinking which means download has started. Once the blue light turns a steady blue, it's finished and ready for offline listening. If crafties were the only thing StoryPod offered, it would be pretty good screen-free audio player. But they also make other interactive audio formats. Currently, there are six different formats. Very similar to the crafties are these tokens. Instead of a plush, you get a pentagon-shaped token. These are generally for older children of three and up, and they offer various stories. The price of these fall between $8.99 up to $12.99. So they're more affordable than the crafties. But I did notice the runtime on these vary quite a bit more. Some of them are only about 15 minutes, while they have some that are 70 plus minutes long. One of my personal favorite interactive media from StoryPods are the books. Simply tap the icon on the StoryPod and the book will start to play. There's an audio cue that allows your child to know when to turn the page. We made it easy for you to follow along. When you hear this sound, that means it's time to turn the page. Some of the books are just stories read to your children like audiobooks. But some have true interactive features like this book here, Spike the Penguin with Rainbow Hair. It has 10 questions at the end for your child to answer. Earlier, I mentioned that there are four interactive buttons on a story pod, and these are used for your child to answer these questions. For the quiz, each of these buttons will light up a different color indicating a different answer. While my son is a bit too young to fully do the quiz by himself, he gets the idea behind it. They even make it easier so that if your child does pick the incorrect button, it will no longer light up, letting them know to try again. StoryPod also offers trivia cards that make use of these interactive buttons. I haven't tried these myself yet as they're recommended for children ages 6 and up. They also have activity cards which provide children ages 3 to 5 an audio experience that inspires them to play and engage through stories, poems, questions, facts, movements, and imagination games. The last format is recordable story stickers. These stickers are pretty awesome as they allow you to make any book you own into a read-along audiobook. Just put the sticker onto your child's favorite book and record yourself reading the book. Once your child taps the sticker onto the story pod, it'll start to play your recording. Depending on the age of your child, you probably also want to record some kind of sound effect yourself to let them know when to turn the page. I really like this idea as it's relatively affordable at $11.99 for three stickers. Each sticker can record up to 60 minutes. This is especially great if you have a multilingual family. The sticker gives us an option to read books in other languages to our children. And similar to the owl, you can invite others to record onto these stickers. So they can also be used on more than just books. You can use them with picture albums, birthday cards, or even other toys as long as the sticker fits and sticks. As you can see with all these different interactive audio formats, StoryPod stands out by offering age-appropriate screen-free media that can adapt and evolve alongside your child. Which leads us to the ultimate question. At $79.99, is the StoryPod worth the cost? Considering a possible six-year lifespan it provides, the price tag of approximately $80 for this device seems quite reasonable. However, it's worth noting that additional expenses will be incurred for purchasing the various available audio formats. This is where the subscription service comes into play. The basic idea is that when you subscribe, you get a new audio playset every two months for the cost of $35. Or you could prepay and save a little bit more. Each of the audio playsets are about $40 worth of items. So you'll be saving at least $5 even if you choose the pay per audio playset option. There's no contract so you can cancel anytime and it's free shipping. I know $5 might not seem like a lot, but it adds up and StoryPod selects age-appropriate content for you. However, if the $5 saving was all your gets, I wouldn't be making such a big deal about the subscription. The amazing saving comes when you first subscribe to StoryPods. You get a whopping $30 off the StoryPod. So for $84.99, you receive the StoryPod, which includes the Owl iCrafty, your first set of audio content, the teal sleeve, and one StoryPod story sticker. And should you and your family not like the StoryPod, you can get a full refund on your first order if you return within 30 days. 
The subscription is a pretty good value for anyone looking into purchasing a StoryPod. As for $5 more than purchasing just a StoryPod alone, you're able to get $40 worth of content just by subscribing. Unfortunately, the subscription is only targeted at people who don't already own a StoryPod, as the first box always comes with a StoryPod. You also have no option of picking what's included in the subscription boxes, meaning you might get duplicates if you don't subscribe from the beginning. Hopefully in the future, they open up the subscription service to current owners of the StoryPod as it would be nice to get a little bit of savings. If you're interested in the StoryPod, check out the link in the description. Give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.